Wow, this is so nice. Yes. We just got this 2021 Cayenne in, DTS in Lava Orange. Wow. Wow, that's a good looking car. Update on this. We actually got the keys to the Cayenne GTS, so I'm gonna take you guys around this car, go out for a test drive, get some pictures for social media, and also just kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on this car. One thing I did notice while I was just now putting it into reverse as well as drive and everything, this is where the button is to put it into gear, which normally I would think it's like back here, but no, nope. I thought that was a little weird if I'm being completely honest with you. And then park right there. Overall though, loved the short little drive that I just did here. I'm gonna hop out of the car right now and give you guys a little walk around. So this 2021 Cayenne GTS is presented in lava orange with the black wheels as well as the black interior, which if you didn't notice, it has double stitching as well done in orange. It's a completely reinvented center console as well as displays and dash, and I think it looks so much better. I'm gonna show you guys what another Cayenne interior looks like and compare the two. 13 Cayenne that we have. Now this one is also a DTS model. You see the big difference between just the steering wheel interface as well as the center console, which to me personally, I think this is very overwhelming just to look at, but wow, look at that color. The plan right now is to lower this as well as put an exhaust and a tune on this. That's all it really needs in order to beat a Lamborghini Urus in terms of performance. If you are interested in picking up a 2021 Cayenne GTS, please feel free to reach out to us. We are more than happy to source one for you and get you a good deal. If you like the Lava Orange, we can find one just like this. Or if you want something in a different color, please feel free to reach out to our sales team and we are more than happy to source a Cayenne GTS for you. I'm gonna head back to the shop now. I'm gonna show you the 720S that we've had in the shop for a little bit now. It just got a ripped exhaust put on and it's got the 1016 body kit on it. So I really wanna show you guys that and show you the progress on that car. Is it Rift or Riftco? The Rift exhaust. Onto 720S. Separate from the ordinary. 188. And they call it the final edition. So it's a full titanium cat back and it has a DME tune? does have a tune. So it's just got tune and pipes on it. Tune and pipes. That's all the and performance. It's... And it had, I mean, we got, there's air filters in there. You can kind of see them. Huh. Oh, that's Darwin. Not over from Darwin. Might be Evan's stuff. Oh, you think like his hood? The order hood? I don't know. Or a soft, no, not a soft top. This is like a legit hood. I don't see any packaging slip. Looks bad. They screwed up. Ooh, how's it feel? Is it light? That looks good. Workout well, I guess, what do you, well, you're putting the carbon fiber hood on now. This escalates every time I come over. Well, long story short, this is Billy's new car. It's, car. it's got a cup engine. It says a cup engine in it. It's right. got a lot of stuff in it. Yeah. With so this thing. We reverted the other RS back to stock that's for sale, and Billy's pretty much putting all of his parts on this one. This is the Champion Motorsport GT3 RS with the cup engine in it. This was on his old RS, he's putting it on here. This is the Dot 2 wing, probably Champion. I think, I think Champion built it. Okay. Well, it's Champion exhaust. There's a, you can't really tell. But cup engine, London intake. Check it out the interior, carbon fiber wheel. Our authentic GT seats that he got recently with the carbon fiber backings. You can see it's just, it's a lot better. It's gonna be a lot more aggressive, so. Yeah, I got a free hood. Thanks, Darwin. <laughs> Thanks, Darwin. I ordered this hood and they canceled my order and refunded me. Flip it. And it showed up. It's a 901 GT2 RS look-alike, yep. but it's fit for the 901. Come over here and head up front. Right there in the hole, but don't blow. Yeah, one is unlike the others. We'll go outside. Yep. You ready to lower it? Uh, He's clear, you good? Kinda, not really. Go ahead, lower. Look at that. Uh, dude, that's, that's, that good. Uh, nobody. Okay, got that fitted, and boom. Oh, that fender doesn't count. It's not bold. It's not bold. That gap looks a lot better. 
So we're ending the video off with this Lamborghini Gallardo. This is a 2008 Spider. Checking out that interior real quick. Got a little bit of carbon fiber. You also have a carbon fiber center console area. This is an automatic, but it is a fantastic drive. You also have the carbon fiber steering wheel, which is really nice. I love this diamond stitching. These are fantastic rides. I've completely fallen in love with the Gallardo platform. I know they get a bad rap the older that they are, but they are really good rides. Obviously, if you take care of it and treat it very well. I'm gonna finish off this video now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. We're gonna be posting more day-to-day -day content on here. So if you're looking forward to that, please let us know and we will see you guys next time.